Hello, Carlos. Hello, Cristina. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, good evening, everyone. I'm very good, thanks. And you, Carlos, how are you tonight? I'm very good, teacher. All is good. That's great. Thank you. Uh, hello, Cristina. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. That's perfect. How was your day? It was heavy. Very oh, heavy. Very... Ah, okay. Yeah. It was very busy for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. You are going to go to bed and you are going to press a lot, right? In yeah. 57 minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. And today in the United States, American people um, are celebrating, right? A very important holiday for them. What is the name of the holiday? What is the holiday name that they are celebrating tonight? Is uh... what is the name? I don't remember this name. Halloween. Oh yes, they are celebrating Halloween, right? That is an important tradition for American people. Uh, and some other places around the world too, right? Here in El Salvador. We don't have that tradition, right? Just as some people have. Um, but how to, we are the going to... The Salvador is every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, it is. So, but we are going to celebrate next Wednesday, right? What we are going to celebrate mm -hmm. next Wednesday? Next Wednesday, we have a holiday too. What are we going to celebrate? Santo Difuntos. Oh, yes, All Souls Day. That is the name of that celebration, All Souls Day. And that is a holiday, so we won't work that day. No vamos a trabajar ese día. ¿Quién va a descansar ese día? Carlos? Me teacher. Me teacher. Oh, great, that's great. So you are going to have time, right, to spend with your family, with your friends, go to the beach, go to the movies. I don't know, right? You can do a lot of plans that day. So we won't have classes that day too, right? No vamos a tener clases el miércoles, pero sí vamos a tener esa clase el día viernes. Así que esta semana va a ser corta, ¿verdad? Va a ser corta esta semana. We are going to finish on Friday, the next Friday. So do we have any questions about the platform? Platform exercise, sorry. Anybody has a question? No question, everything is okay. Grisha saying no, no question. Okay, that's okay. So remember that during this week, we need to finish the section number five and also we need to take the final exam during this week. And this week, we are going to finish this English course too, right? Of Friday is our last class. And before the last class, everything must be done, right? On the platform, antes de la clase final, todo tiene que estar terminado en la plataforma, right? Todo al 100%. Eh, tareas y exámenes. Okay? Questions? Do you have any questions? No question? Then let us start with the class. No question, teacher. Can you start in class? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let's see. The last class we were starting the simple, the simple past, the simple present, or the present perfect simple. Do you remember what was the last topic we started? Can you look up your notes? Yes, uh, I remember uh, for present perfect, uh, I can use have or as. Um, next, next to is present present perfect, verb, and complement. 
It's correct. Okay. Yeah, just give me a second. I have a problem with the presentation right now. Give me a second. I'm trying to fix it. Yes, it was the top. The, the topic was the present perfect. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar el presente perfecto? When are we going to use the present perfect? Do you remember that? ¿Se acuerdan cuando utilizamos el presente perfecto? We use the present perfect for action that has started in the past and still eh, are in the present, right? Todavía están en el presente. Y también para cosas repetitivas. Y también... Son, cuando... de, son de acciones que todavía no se han terminado, ¿verdad? Yes. Por ejemplo, ¿cuántos años lleva trabajando en un mismo empleo? Y usted dice, I have been working, o I have worked for 10 years as a teacher. I have worked here for three years. Ok. Entonces comenzó en el pasado y todavía sigue trabajando allí. O sea, no ha terminado esta acción. Ese sería un uso. Otro uso es cuando queremos decir que hemos hecho una actividad varias veces en el pasado. Y lo seguimos haciendo. Por ejemplo, I have, um, I have gone to the movies since I was a child. I have gone to the movies five times. I have gone to the beach ten times. Ese sería otro uso. Y el otro es cuando el tiempo no es importante. I have watched that movie. Ya he visto esa, esa película, pero no decimos cuándo. Entonces, ahí podemos utilizar el presente perfecto. Teacher, ¿Sí? I can use in, in question. For example, have I been here before? Yes, you can use uh, present perfect in question. And tonight, we are going to learn uh, the question with already and yet. Algo que ya hizo, que ya hizo o algo que no ha hecho. Por ejemplo, Have you already had your dinner tonight? Have you already had your dinner? Yes, ya, I have. Ya tuvo la cena hoy. Y dice, yes, I have. Okay, have you, have you cleaned your room yet? Ya limpió yes. su cuarto? Okay, they say, yes, I have already clean, cleaned my room. Oh no, I haven't cleaned my room yet. So let's start with my topic and here we go. This is the topic for tonight, present perfect, get in already. You can get in already with the present perfect. So this is the lesson objective. In this session, we will study the present perfect using already in yet. Let me review this. A regular verb has past participles, which are the same as their past simple form ending ed. Esto lo vimos la semana pasada. Para utilizar el presente perfecto, necesitamos el pasado participio de los verbos. Y en los verbos regulares es la misma forma del pasado de cada uno de los verbos, agregándole ed al final de cada verbo. Visit, visit it, arrive, arrive. Irregular verbs, irregular past participles. Sometimes the past participle of an irregular verb is the same as the past simple form, and sometimes it is different. En algunas veces es diferente. Let's see, for example, have. Hat is the simple past, and hat is the past participle. Los, los is the simple past, and los is also the past participle. Do, did, and done. Now we can see here that the past participle is different to the simple past. It, a, and eaten is another example of that. So we need to learn the past participle of the verb of the irregular verb from a list. So, 
Do you remember how to make an affirmative sentence? Affirmative sentences in present perfect. Who wants to tell me an example? Let's use the verb visited. Yo ya he visitado. Yo ya he visitado México, por ejemplo. ¿Cómo dirían esa oración? Yo he visitado México. I have visited Mexico. Ok, excelente. I have visited. We need a subject. The auxiliary have. The past participle of the verb. I have visited. And the complement. Mexico. I have visited Mexico. And we can add here three times, for example. I have visited Mexico three times. Uh, let's see, can you give me another example with love? He perdido mi carro. How do you say that? He perdido mi carro. Digamos que Crisia lo perdió. Crisia ha perdido su carro. ¿Cómo sería esa oración? Crisia has lost her car. Ok, Crisia. Has or have? Has. Has. Has lost her car. Ya tenemos una oración, ¿verdad? Afirmativa. In present perfect, Crisia has lost her car. Crisia ha perdido su car. The last example using did. Did is the simple past of do and the past participle is done. We need to use done in this example. We say they using they. ¿Cuál forma del auxiliar? Necesito have o had. Have. They have done. Ok. The okay. Homework. They have done the homework. They have done the homework. And here we have the sentence. They have done the homework. Okay. Bueno, hay algunos adverbios que yo puedo utilizar, adverbios de tiempo, con el presente perfecto. Toda esta semana vamos a estar viendo algunos de ellos y este día corresponde el turno a already and yet. ¿Ya habían oído estas palabras? Already and yet. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's great. So we are going to learn how to use them with the present perfect. Okay, let's start with already. We use already to refer to something which has happened or may have happened before the moment of speaking. Already can sometimes suggest surprise on the part of the speaker. That is something is unexpected. Let's see this example. I have already finished my English exam. So we are going to use already para decir que algo ya ha sucedido, ¿verdad? O que algo ha sucedido antes del momento en el que estamos hablando. Algunas veces es algo que se terminó ¿verdad? antes del tiempo esperado. Por eso dice que expresa, sugiere una sorpresa de parte de la persona que está hablando. That's porque alguna cosa ha sucedido eh, antes de lo planificado. I've already finished my English exam. Por ejemplo, un examen que yo consideraba que se tomaban 20 minutos, viene un estudiante a los 5 minutos, entonces, I've already finished my English exam. Ya he terminado mi examen. Así como ustedes, ¿verdad? Que en 5 minutos hicieron el examen. ¿Cuánto les tomó el examen? ¿No lo han hecho todavía el final examen? No yet. No yet. Ok, todavía no. 
do it. So let's continue with some other examples about already. Teacher, a question. Yes, what is your question? Eh, según veo, este no lo podemos utilizar para preguntas, ¿verdad? Mm, already, yes, we can use already for question. We can use it for question and for affirmative sentence. Already. Okay. Let's see a little of these examples, Carlos. Already. Can you repeat this? Yes, we can use already in question and also in positive for affirmative sentence. Look at this example. Okay. Have you finished your homework already? Yes, I did on it already. Okay, then in the respuesta, then in the oration affirmative. Yes, I've done it already. Have you finished your homework already? That is the you question. Finish your homework already? Ya terminaste tu tarea? Yes, I have done it already. Yes, I have done it already. Y ya lo hice. I've done it already. So let's say a look. Already. You can use already in different positions in the sentence. You can use it at the end. And also you can use it before the main verb. Podemos utilizar already al final de una pregunta y al final de una oración afirmativa. Y también podemos utilizarlo antes. Puede ir antes del verbo principal de la oración. So, in the first example, I have, have you finished your homework already? In the next, I have, have you already finished your homework? In the other example, I have, yes, I've done it already. And, yes, I've already done it. En esas dos posiciones, podemos utilizar already dentro de una oración o de una pregunta. Do you have any question? Question? No question. All okay, teacher. Everything is okay? Okay, that's great. Thank you, Carlos. So use of yet is the other word that we are going to learn tonight. We use yet most commonly in question negative. Utilizamos yet comúnmente en preguntas y oraciones negativas. To talk about things which are expected but which have not happened. Para hablar acerca de cosas que esperamos que ya estén hechas pero no han sucedido. ¿no? Esperamos que ya hayan sucedido pero no han sucedido todavía. Let's see, have you finished that book yet? Les asigné que leyeran, digamos, la caperucita roja de Red Reading Hood. Have you finished that book yet? ¿Ya terminó de leer ese libro? Have you finished that book yet? And the other example is a negative sentence. I haven't made a decision yet. No he tomado una decisión todavía. En el caso de yet, Solo lo podemos utilizar al final de la pregunta y al final de la oración negativa. Question. Do you have any question? No, teacher. Okay, now let's try making sentences. Let's see, for example, I am number one. I already listen. To music. And you made this sentence. It's an affirmative sentence. ¿Cómo me quedaría esa oración? Yo ya he escuchado música. I have already listened to music. Great. You say, I have already listened to music. Perfect, thank you. And what about the second one? It's a negative, using jet. And I have the verb go, swimming, and not. I haven't go swimming yet. Okay, let's see. 
I haven't gone swimming yet. Excellent. I haven't gone swimming yet. That is the same thing. Let's do the number three. I have, I already take some photos. Me quedaría en la tercera oración, the person. I have already to take some photos. Mm, okay, remember that you, you need to use the past participle of the verb. Uh, wow, that was scary. Okay. What is number I three? have already taken some photos. Okay, let's see. I have already taken some photos. Yeah. Okay, number four. I have already helped Jane in the kitchen. Yes, I have already helped Jane in the kitchen. Excellent. And the last one in this slide. I have already played my guitar. Yes, I have already played my guitar. Do you have any question? Any volunteer to read these sentences? Who wants to practice? Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Hey. Las respuestas o las que están al principio. The answers, please. The answers. Okay. I have already listened to music. I haven't gone swimming yet. I have already taken some photos. I have already helped Jane kitchen. I have already played my guitar. Thank you so much, Carlos. Now let's see if si quiero utilizar already al final de la oración. Podría? Podría decir, I have listened to music already? No. Yes. Yes, but it's negative. Mm, yeah, you can. Already tiene dos posiciones dentro de una oración. Antes del verbo principal, como se está acá. Antes del listen, que es el verbo principal. Y puede ir al final, at the end of the sentence. I have listened to music already. Chat solo puede ir al final de una pregunta o de una oración negativa. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next observer. Oh, Number one, como que diga la número uno. I have already gone out with my friends. I have already gone out with my friends, yes. The second one, it's a negative sentence. I haven't washed my shirt yet. Okay, Carlos, thank you, let's see. Yes, I haven't washed my shirt yet. And the next, wow, well, I made a mistake there. I'm sorry, that is number three. And then I have one, two, I guess. And I have already to make my bed. Oh, to make? Are you sure? I have already made my bed. Yes, okay. I make. Okay, I have already made my bed. And number four. I, I have, have already done the washing on... up. The question, no. Okay, thank you. And the last one. I haven't speak to my much teacher yet. Okay, I have already. I haven't okay. speak to my math teacher. Yes. Okay. Any question? No question. No question. Great. Just one volunteer to practice reading the sentences. 
Who wants? Who wants to try it? Anyone? One, two, three. Me teacher. Okay, excellent. Do it, please. I have already gone all with my friends. I haven't watched my shirt yet. I have already made my bed. I have already done the washing up. I haven't speak to my much teacher yet. Okay, thank you so much. Any other volunteer to practice within the sentences? Me, Crisia. Thank you, Crisia. I have already gone out with my friends. I haven't washed my shirt yet. I have already made my bed. I have already done the washing up. I haven't speak to my math teacher yet, but in la ultima sería spoken, verdad? Yes, you are right. Um, speak is the present. Okay, in the past. Participle is spoken. Okay, the past is spoke, and the spoken is the past participle of the verb. Thank you so much, Christia. So this is the right form of the verb that we need in this sentence. I haven't spoken to my math teacher yet. Thank you, Christian. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Questions? No questions? Then let's continue. Like this and let's continue. Okay, let's practice. Yeah, look at this small conversation and let me know, please, if you have any questions about vocabulary before to start practicing. Good afternoon, Kathy. Good afternoon, Ben. Have you had your lunch yet? No, I haven't had my lunch yet. Let's eat. Mm, I haven't finished my history task yet. No worries. I have already finished it. I'll help you. But I haven't so hungry yet. Hey, you need to eat. Your body needs energy. Questions in this small conversation? Okay, if you don't have any other questions, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Tengo Francisco. <laughs> Okay, let's listen first, Cristian and Francisco. And then we're going to listen to Carlos, Cristian and Francisco. So, Fran, you are Ben and Cristian, you are Katy. Can you start? Okay. Este. Uh, good afternoon, Katy. Good afternoon, Ben. Have you had your loan yet? No, I haven't had my lunch yet. Let's eat. Um, I haven't finished my story task yet. No worries. I have already finished it. I help you. I will help you. But I haven't felt oh, but I haven't felt hungry yet. Hey, you need to eat. Your body needs energy. Okay, excellent. Thank you. <clears throat> so, I'll help you. What is the meaning of that sentence? I'll help you. What's the meaning of the sentence? I'll help you. Voy a ayudarte. Yo te ayudaré. Thank you so much. Yo te ayudaré. I need another tool until to practice. Thank you, Francisco and Cristia. Excellent job. Then I have Carlos and another volunteer to practice with Carlos. Me, teacher. Thank you, Eulise. So let's send Carlos and Eulise. Can you please start? Oh, sorry. Carlos, you are Ben. So Eulise, you are going to read Kathy's part. Okay. Good afternoon, Kathy. Good afternoon, Ben. 
have you had your lunch yet? No, I haven't had my lunch yet. That's it. Mm, I haven't finished my historic touch yet. No worries. I have already finished. I help you. But I haven't felt hungry yet. Hey, you need to eat. Your body needs energy. Thank you. Very, very good job. Now let's see. Tell me, how do you pronounce this word? Task jet. Okay, excellent. Task. I haven't finished my history task yet. Thank you. The last two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Me, Evelyn. teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. I have Evelyn and... Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, let's listen, Evelyn and Anna. Evelyn and Anna, so... Evelyn, you are going to be Ben, and Anna, you are going to be happy this practice. Can you please start? Good afternoon, Kathy. Good afternoon, Ben. Have you had your lunch yet? Oh, I haven't had my lunch yet. Let's eat. Mm -hmm. I haven't finished my history class yet. Yet. No worries. I haven't really finished it. I have you. But I haven't felt hungry yet. Hey, you need to aid your body net energy. Perfect job, thank you. That was excellent. Thank you so much, Evelyn and Anna. So let's continue with the next, next exercise here. Let's go with the next thing. So take a look at this question. Have you gone camping yet? Have you gone camping yet, guys? What is a good answer for this question? Have you gone camping yet? In this case, no, I haven't. Okay, then you say, no, I haven't gone camping yet. Teacher. Yes? Oh. No, yo iba a preguntarle si, como no se me olvida, ya sé que quizá ya lo explico, pero esto se me olvida. Este, si se puede decir, no, I haven't gone yet, solo así, gone yet. No, I haven't gone yet. Sí, en este caso sí, porque gone es el verbo principal, camping es solo un complemento. Entonces sí puede responder así, no, I haven't gone yet. Se puede responder también únicamente okay, no yet. Y yes, no yet, puede utilizar también esta expresión, no yet, o la respuesta corta, no I haven't, no I haven't, no yet, no I haven't gone yet. Tiene todas esas opciones. The second one, have you climbed a volcano yet? Have you climbed a volcano yet? No, I haven't. You say, no, I yes, haven't. I haven't. Oh, you say, yes, I have. Oh, sorry, yes, I have. Okay, perfect. No, you say, yes, I have already climbed a volcano. And you say, I have climbed a Santa Ana's volcano, Isalco's volcano. Three, no, I haven't. I have climbed. <laughs> Is alcohol, okay, no. Great. Number three, have you met someone famous yet? Have you met someone famous yet? No, I haven't met, met someone famous yet. Okay, you say, no, I haven't met someone famous sure. yet. Yeah? It's incorrect. Um, 
tell I haven't met and or met. It's met because it's the past participle of the verb meet. Okay, thank you. Number four, I have you already eating octopus, big Sam. You're already eating seafood, big Sam, or octopus, big Sam. No, I haven't already eaten the octopus, big Sam. Excellent answer, thank you. But you have yes. to use jet because it was the negative answer. No, I haven't. Eden octopus pizza jet. Remember that jet is for question and negative answer. Already is for question and affirmative answer. Teacher. Tell me, Anna, what is your question? Octopus. Oh, pulpo. Okay, thank you. Have you, thank you for your question, sir. Have you already finished the platform exercises? Yes, I have. Okay, yes, let me ask you. Yes, I have. Have you already decorated your Christmas tree this year? No, I haven't yet. No, I haven't. Okay, just for purposes of practice, uh, can you please use already and yet? to answer this question. Try to use already and yet. You are going to practice with your classmate in the breakout rooms. So you're going to uh, take turns asking this question and answering them. But please try to use already and yet in the answer. In the first one, for example, have you gone camping yet? Then you say, yes, I have already gone camping. Y si quiere contarle a sus compañeros cuando fue que sucedió ese evento, puede contarse. I went camping three years ago with my friends. We go camp, we, sorry, we went camping to a lady table. ¿A dónde fue a acampar? Have you climbed a volcano yet? No, I haven't climbed a volcano yet. So try to use already in yet, please, to answer this question. Do you have any question about the activity? Is it clear what you are going to do in the breakup rooms? Questions? Are you ready to practice with your classmates? Let me know, please. No question, teacher. No question. Everything is clear? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so try to answer using already and yet, please. Here we go. Let's make the group and you're going to receive the invitation in practice with your classmates. I'm going to make five groups. So, and you, your practice with your classmates.
Hello, Carlos. Did you have a problem? Carlos, did you have a problem? Sí, teacher. Sorry. Eh, se me fue la luz eh, un momento, pero ya regresó. Ok. Estaba con Fátima y Karen, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ok. En San Melissa, you working? Ok, San Ok, no problem, Samuel, no problem. Just wait a minute for your class. They are practicing in the breakout room. They will come in five minutes. This, this, three this year. And three, three this year. Three this year. Si ya decoré. Si sí, ya decoré el, el árbol navideño. El árbol de, el árbol de este año. No, sí, not yet. La... Not yet. Ok. Evelyn, your question. Aquí estoy. Okay. Okay, eh, ¿Usted me va a preguntar a mí? Sí, como guste. Okay. Yo te lo pregunto. ¿En serio? ¿Has ido a camping ya? I haven't. No, yo no. No, I, I don't know. Okay. Eh. No yet. No yet. Yes. Okay. Hello, Josman. Uh, Hello, teacher. And Evelyn. Okay, then you say no. no. I have I have. No, I haven't gone. Come I haven't done. Okay. Yeah. Can you say the answer, Evelyn, please? Okay. okay, no, I haven't gone camping yet. Okay, thank you. Next question, please. Okay. Uh, have you climbed a volcano yet? Uh, no, I haven't volcano yet. The bear climb? Volcano. No, I haven't climbed. Evelyn, can you please read the sentence? No, I haven't mm. climbed a volcano yet. No, I haven't climbed a volcano yet. Volcano. 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 Okay. Jet. Excellent. Now, thank you. Next question, please. Okay. Had you met some... Some unfamous yet? No, I haven't um, met. Yet. No, I haven't met a fam. A, ¿Cómo sería ahí, teacher, en el caso de famoso? Famous es la pronunciación. Okay. Famous. No, I haven't met 
a famous person yet? Next question. Have you already eaten uh, octopus pizza? No, I haven't eaten pizza. Uh, eating. Okay. No, I haven't eaten a octopus pizza yet. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, have you have you already finished the platform exercise? Yes, I have. I have already. Okay. Yes, I have already finished it yet. Then, then. Okay. Yes. Con más afirmativa. Aquí vamos a hacer already, como es una oración afirmativa. Okay. okay. Yes, I have ready as finished them. Okay, excellent. And the last question, please. Have you already decorated your Christmas tree this year? No, I haven't decorated. No, I haven't the current. No, I haven't decorated. Decorated. No, I, no, I have decorated my Christmas yet. No, I have decorated my Christmas tree yet. Yeah, okay, so those are the answer. Those are Evelyn answers. No, I haven't gone camping yet. No, I haven't climbed a volcano yet. No, I haven't met a famous person yet. No, I haven't eaten octopus pizza yet. Yes, they have already finished. Then, no, I haven't decorated my Christmas tree yet. Okay, hace falta alguien todavía? Hey, Josman. Um, I'm going to ask you, Josman. Okay, continue okay. practicing. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Hello, Yamile. Hello, Gana. Hello, Cristina. Hola. Hola, teacher. Hola, teacher. Solo sí, dejando teacher. alguna duda de, de cómo se llama que, que nos habían enviado la, la, ¿cómo se llama? El jueves pasado que teníamos que completar hasta la sección 5. Porque ya esta es la última semana de, 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 este, de este módulo, ¿verdad? Así es, this is the last week. And you have to complete the section five in the final exam. Correcto. Okay. Teacher, eh, one question. Tell me, Yamilet. Eh, en, en este caso, el have, ¿en qué tiempo está? Se llama presente perfecto. Presente perfecto. Porque yo les comentaba a las compañeras que se parece cuando uno contesta eh, yes, I do. Eh, así, por ejemplo, pero en este caso es have. Y haven't. Y haven't. Ajá. Pero have sí. significa Correcto, tener. Mm, ok. Eh, have tiene dos usos. El primero es como verbo, how. Uh -huh. Como verbo significa tener. Uh -huh. Entonces, como auxiliar significa haber. Uh -huh. En okay. el presente perfecto lo estamos utilizando como auxiliar. Sería yo ever. I have. I have studied. 
I have studied hard. Yo he estudiado mucho. Y si es en tercera persona, va a ser has. He has studied hard. Y con he también. He has. He has done the homework. Él ya hizo la tarea. Entonces aquí está como auxiliar. Este has no significa tener, significa haber. El ha. Él ha hecho la tarea. He has done the homework. Y las palabras que estamos utilizando, already and yet. Already es para decir que ya está hecho una, algo. He has already done. Él ya hizo la tarea. He has already done the homework. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Quedó una M aquí de más. Sorry. No sé si es Any other question? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? Ok, then let's come back with the rest of your classmates. See you in a minute. Hello, Cristina. Hello, Fatima, Jamilet, Carlos, Ana. Welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. We finished. Yes. Did everybody participate in the practice? Yes, everybody, teacher. Okay, that's great. Hello, Cristina. How was your practice? Did you finish? Yes, we finished. Perfect. That's great. Karen and Stephanie, did you finish practicing with your classmate? Yes. Yes, I finished. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you so much. I hope that you have enjoyed this. Okay, practicing with your classmate. Any question? Do you have any question? No, I have a question, teacher. No, teacher. No question. Okay. Then... No, en el chat tenían una, una, que querían ayuda. Acabo de ver. Let me see. I have some Melissa. Solo tengo un chat de Samuel. Es... Decían ayuda, teacher, de, del ejercicio 2.3, se decía, y lo escribía ya mi let, Pineda. Ah, decía. you mean the WhatsApp, the WhatsApp group, the chat on the WhatsApp. Sí, teacher. Ok, ¿cuál es el ejercicio? Déjenme revisar. 2.3, se debe ser. Okay, let me see. Ya se acepta. ¿De qué sección es esa? Do you have any idea? What is the section? Section 2. We had a great time. I can enter the platform this moment. Okay, section two. We had a great time and the exercise is the 13. Teacher, I, I check uh, to, that's it, listening exercise. Uh, mm -hmm. To that that five 
is a lesson objective. Okay, is it this one? Janine, welcome back. And it's a conversation. Yes, it is. This is a listening. Where did Jason go? Did he enjoy it? Where did Barbara go? And did she enjoy it? Do you remember the answer? Can we help our classmates? Yes. Number one is John. Number two is Laura. Number three is Laura. Okay. And number four is Bot. Wait, but this is the first one. Did he enjoy it? Let's listen. Oh, sorry. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place. And the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day. And I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Okay, did he enjoy it? What is the answer? Yes, number one, San Francisco teacher. Okay, the second one is yes, he did. Where did Barbara go? Uh, this is, uh, I don't know. Teacher. She stay home. She stay home? Okay, she went to the gym. Did she enjoy it? I guess it's yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, let's see. Let's see. No. Oh, I see it's missing here. She went. Okay, what's the matter with this? She they. <laughs> Home. Just stay home is the answer. This, this answer is very difficult. Just stay home? Yes, yeah, that is the answer. Thank you so much. So these are the answers for that exercise. The first one is San Francisco. The second one, yes, he did. The third one, she stay home. And then number four, did she enjoy it? Okay, any other question? Teacher. Yes? Uh, I have a problem. Tengo un problema con la sección 5 en la, en la sección 5.9 porque yo selecciono las respuestas, pero cuando selecciono enviar, no me aparece el, el enviar en verde, me aparece en gris. Así que yo no puedo enviar la respuesta. No puedo responder esa, sec esa, esa sección, la 5.9. Sección 5.9. Ajá, no me da la plataforma eso para enviarla. Aunque yo lo okay. responda, falsa o verdadera, o sea, no me da. Ok, let me check it. I'm going to check it. Let me think. Now you say 5.9, 5.9. Ok. Um, is it ok if we check this tomorrow at the beginning of the class, please? Ok. Ok, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Don't forget that during this week, you need to complete section five and the final exam. So keep working on that, please. Thank you so much. Good night. Okay. Good night. 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 Good night.